It's been nearly a decade since Tiger Woods lost his stranglehold on the world number one ranking. Since then, 11 other men have worn the crown. Westwood, Keimer, Donald, McElroy, Woods again, Scott, Spieth, Day, Johnson, Rose, and now, Kepka. Most top players just dream of seeing their name above all others on the world rankings, but it's a vaunted few who have actually made it there. I think I, it felt like a goal accomplished is really satisfying. I reached it and that was kind of a goal of mine as a, as a little kid. Brooks Kepka briefly took over world number one late last year, but this time things are different. This time it's not just a formula that makes him number one. Kepka has won four of his last eight major championships. He's established himself as a big game hunter. He's the favorite heading to Pebble Beach, and he's golf's undisputed heavyweight champ. You know, he's, he's playing some golf, and I said the last time I saw someone do that was Rory. But now that Kepka sits on the throne, things don't get any easier. In fact, they may get harder. Climbing to number one is a hell of an accomplishment, but trying to stay there is an exercise in futility. It's a nice little asterisk next to your name that you've been number one in the world, I guess, as far as afterwards. Because once you're there, there's only one way to go. For Kepka, being the favorite is a particularly tricky turn to make. To get to number one, Kepka convinced himself he had to prove everybody wrong. I mean, everybody on my team, everybody around me, very close to me, knows what's, what's, what's going to get me fired up or, you know, what make, makes me pay attention a little bit more um, and kind of prove everybody wrong. You tell me I can't do something, I can't wait to prove you wrong. To stay there, he has to prove everybody right. Everybody believes in Kepka now. Players, fans, media, Tiger Woods himself. He's done it better than anyone else in the last couple of years. Uh, he knows what he needs to do. and. He seems to uh, get his game, mind, and, and body coming together for those, those big weeks. And that's what we're all looking to have happen, uh, but he's figured out what's best for him. Thus begins the reign of King Kepka, but his is a fickle kingdom, which can vote in a new ruler every week. To stay on the throne, there's one thing he'll have to do. Keep going. <laughs>